Hi there! So I wanted to do a little time-lapse video, a sort of tutorial of sorts, um, of a Paratex piece that I had worked on recently. And this is just pictures of the front and the back of the bottle that I worked on. Now I used a, a liquid textile hardener and it's a Paratex medium. So here it is. I had already thought I wanted to have a kind of twisty kind of look to it. So I had made an armature already using wire, um, some aluminium foil and some masking tape. I'm just giving the Paratex a little mix through. Um, it tends to thicken up if it's sort of left lying in the container for a while, so you've got to mix it through. You can use any kind of um, fabric here. I'm using a, a cotton style thing, but play around with it and see what kind of fabrics work best. You know, you'll only know if you sort of um, experiment really. You just drain it off as much as you can, squeeze out as much as possible, and then just place it where you want it to go. Now on this piece I didn't want to see any glass um, at all so I just went to work to get it covered um, to begin with. Now I would recommend that you wear gloves when you're working with Paratex medium because um, I can't imagine any kind of textile hardener being good on your skin. Now I can't work with the, the gloves, I, I, I just, it just annoys me. So, um, so I'm willing to take that risk, but it's certainly not what I would recommend. So please uh, wear gloves. Sorry about blocking out the video there. I'm just cutting up some more fabric and um, saturating it in the Paratex liquid draining it off and then just placing it where I need it to go. Working on the armature part there. So I just try to make it really um, as interesting as possible <laughs> I guess. Uh, just twisting the material and creating folds and uh, little pockets and just as much detail as I can. I'm always thinking about how it's going to look when I've got the colour and the highlights and shading part of it to do. So I like that um, it sort of has some kind of fluid movement kind of look to it I guess. get a bit pernickety so I'm sort of smoothing out any edges here and um, again just sort of creating more detail. Now the only thing with this video is that I did forget to actually tape um, myself doing the colouring part of it so I do apologise for that but I'll show pictures again at the end. There we go. I'm just smoothing down some edges there. And I leave it to um, dry for a couple of days before I do the colour. There you go. Finished piece. And this is it with the colour. I'd used a kind of bluey um, colour and a green to give it a, a patina type look. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.